Hey guys, it's Ranyor. I just finished watching The Green Inferno. Before we get into the review, if you could please leave a like and subscribe, as well as consider joining the Discord. The invite link in this video's description. I would highly appreciate it. So yeah, Green Inferno. Um, this movie got on my radar because of a channel. Um, I, I should have looked this up before starting the review. It was either called Hit Start or How to Beat. Um, and it was this, this charismatic guy telling us how to beat movies. So I already kind of had an idea of what it was beforehand. I was spoiled on a few things. But I actually sat down and watched it. And not my proudest fap. That's all I'll say. No, that was obviously a joke. The movie's very brutal. Slightly offensive. Actually very offensive. Just pointless. Very disposable. Hated the characters. Hated the ending. Um, it's not the most unwatchable piece of trash I've ever seen, but it's not something I would ever recommend to anyone. Not even like my worst enemy, because a lot of the visuals here are just kind of, you know, uns... They're just not pleasing to look at, so there's really no reason to watch this. You don't... This is the kind of movie where I feel like I need to scrub my brain clean after I'm done with it. Um, and probably would have preferred just not seeing some of the images I saw. So... The Green Inferno is about, uh, also by the way, directed by Eli Roth, which I think is the director for the Borderlands movie, which is very weird. Um, also for Hostel. I haven't seen Hostel yet, but I've heard good things about it. So this is about a college uh, girl named Justine who joins, joins an activist group. Um, she's a college student, and this group is trying to make a real difference. So they go to the Amazon forest. Um, and they are trying to save an endangered tribe, which is, uh, does not have human contact until this private militia plans to wipe them out so that they can, like, take the lumber and resources from their land. Um, and they, so the activist group gets there, they take out their phones and start live streaming, and everything seems to be going well. But, uh, on the way home, the plane crashes and they get captured by the same tribe they're trying to protect. And the tribe turns out to be cannibals and they are going to eat them. So, they're just, the majority of the movie is just them sitting in a cage trying to figure out ways to escape. But really, they just kind of have to hope that they're not the next one picked, uh, for dinner. So, yeah. What's good about the movie? I'm not, I'm not even going to say what I like about it, because honestly, I didn't really like anything. I, actually, I liked the location, um, there was, it was, I mean, the visuals are not pretty in this, but at the same time they are because you have the, it's the Amazon jungle, you got the rainforest, and, uh, it looks good, I guess, the cinematography, but that's about it for me. Um, otherwise, I think the movie, so, it's not even what I like, what's good about it? So, I would say the makeup effects are really, really good, um, the tribe is very well acted, um, almost like, I don't know, almost like racially profiled. Well, I guess they just are. Um, I believe they're just a, a bunch of Chilean actors, and they're like pretending to be this uh, native cannibal group. Uh, and they're pretty good at it, but it's probably not the most savory thing ever. Um, but I guess they got paychecks, so no one's really being taken advantage of, I guess. I don't know. I just hope that everyone that was involved was like able to make their own decisions because there's so many children in this film and it's such a weird, offensive, gross movie. Like you've got kids like laughing, holding realistic looking prosthetic human heads. It's just kind of the kind of stuff that like if I, if it make me unsettled watching it, I can't imagine like actually being there holding the hair of that head and ugh. So. Yeah, but the makeup was good. The blood and gore is realistic and over the top, so if you're into that, you're going to like that. And, um, yeah. It's not the most unwatchable thing ever. So, the negatives. Hated the characters, okay? And I mean the white characters. And I say white characters because it kind of sucks, but with a movie like this, there is some inherent classism to it. Uh, for example, the double standards about nudity. Um, you know, most of the tribe is nude in this film, however, the you're not supposed to show white nudity. Uh, it's not a huge point of this movie. Um, in fact, most of the children and stuff are wearing these, like, little straps and whatnot. But I just wanted to throw it out there as a cultural thing. I disagree with the whole white nudity versus native nudity thing. I don't like that. 
but I guess that might be a topic for another time because it's not super prevalent here. But the film just rubbed me the wrong way. It was just offensive. It was just, uh, it was like a, a movie for sadists that just want to watch people die in the most brutal, over-the-top ways. And yet, another negative is that the film is kind of, has a comedic tone to it. It's not like a horrifying, terrifying movie. It's kind of funny at times, and it shouldn't be. Um, the reason it's funny is because the writers have created the most stereotypical, liberal, uh, you know, college activists, and they've given them the stupidest plan in the world, made them extremely naive and unlikable, one of them, like, they're vegans, like, it's literally every single trope applies to them, and it's just hilarious, so they're not characters that I relate to, connect with, or care about. I think uh, something a lot of movie directors, especially horror ones, forget is that empathy is not a default thing for fictional characters. You need to develop that as a viewer, or at least I think that. You need to give me a reason to care about the characters, you need to flesh them out a tiny bit. Um, our main character here is not fleshed out at all. Really, the only thing about her is that she plays the flute. And, of course, like every horror movie ever, whenever a character has a weird, random, irrelevant quirk, it always ends up to come help them. And it does here, too. But, yeah, the characters are just irritating. They're stereotypical. They die in the most over-the-top, brutal ways ever. It felt like glorified violence. It felt like sadism. Um, I just wasn't a fan. It's not my kind of movie at all. I like horror, but I don't like egregious amounts of violence for the sake of it. And also, I hated the ending. Um, this is one of the worst endings I think I've ever seen in a movie ever. And the reason it's so bad is because... Uh, so I'll spoil it. I'll just go ahead and spoil it because... It, I mean, I don't even know if I'd call it a spoiler because really spoiling is like implies that there's something to be impressed about or like excited about. But no, this is just a flat fart of an ending. So the ending is that Justine... Uh, lies to the United Nations and says that there was no hostility during her time at the village. And I hated that. It is... I hated how straight-faced she looked. I hated the lying. Um, I hated that they didn't specifically say it's because of that one boy that she was playing the flute to, which maybe it is, but again, we're not being told these things. Yes, you can interpret it, but you can also interpret it the other way. And the other way is that she's... <sighs> I don't even know what her thought process is. I guess she just wants to save a village of people from the militia. But they're pieces of shit. Here's another bad thing is that if they should have made the tribe slightly less sadistic. The tribe is way too evil. Um, and it's just kind of annoying because if this movie was slightly more respectful, which obviously doesn't give a shit about respect, um, and you can judge that right up, just the language they're choosing to use towards the start of the film, that one best friend character. The, how do I put it? This is difficult. It's a weird thing to review here. Because just of how weird the movie is and over the top it is. Okay, so, if we think about humans historically having to hunt animals, they do it for necessity and they do it, uh, quickly and without hatred or malice. These cannibals, especially if you're going to do this stupid-ass ending like we have here, you could have at least made them slightly more understandable, like they're trying to feed their families, and that's it. But no, they have kids dancing around with, you know, cut-off skin on their own skin. They have, like, there's this one guy who gets his eyes, tongue, arms, and legs cut off while he's still alive, and then he gets decapitated. Like, you could do these things in different order. How about decapitate first? Uh, because you're trying to efficiently harvest your kill or whatever. It just made them so evil that, like, the ending's, like, even more of a sucker punch than it already is. Because these cannibals do not deserve to live. I think it would be better for the world if they were wiped out. And it might even be for their own good. Because the tribe doesn't realize how malicious and evil they really are. So it might even be better to just put them out of their misery and put them on to the afterlife. And maybe their souls could find peace or whatever. I don't know. It just hated the ending. I'm giving The Green Inferno a 4 out of 10. It was competently shot, the pacing was alright, um, it wasn't the worst thing ever, but it was just offensive, um, sadistic, over the top, um, and just had a terrible ending, and I hated the characters. They were just basically walking stereotypes. So yeah, don't watch this movie, it's really really bad, and uh, thanks so much for watching this review.